when Facebook and Twitter first began growing their user bases, few would have guessed at the power and control those big tech companies would wield. Social media became the modern town square for political discourse where world leaders, massive corporations, and the average Joe could all share their opinions. Well, at least that's what they started as. Today, the internet's town square is starting to feel like it's under Soviet rule. Like other authoritarians before them, big tech executives can decide to censor any individual or idea they do not support without being held accountable to anyone. Big tech censorship started as widely supported bans on ISIS terrorists or violent content. But lately, big tech companies have started to ban ideas. Users can't say that men aren't women or joke that Democrats don't want white men to vote. Today, many big tech executives act like the internet's opinion page editors. They have the power to decide which opinions or news stories see the light of day. Just days before the election, Facebook and Twitter suppressed a New York Post story about Hunter Biden and his laptop filled with salacious photographs and information about his controversial business dealings. Big Tech claimed without proof that it was Russian disinformation. After the election, Hunter himself confirmed the computer may have been his, and the FBI confirmed it was investigating his business dealings. In addition to censoring news, Big Tech can censor groups of people, including the President of the United States. Following the January 6 protests at the Capitol, Facebook, Twitter, and most other social media platforms banned President Trump while he was still in office. At the same time, they still allowed the Russian government, the Chinese Communist Party, and Iran's Ayatollah to post at will on Twitter. Lots of people may not like President Trump or conservatives, but remember, if big tech companies can censor a president you don't like, they can censor another you do like. And if they can silence a viewpoint you don't like, they can censor your views too. Do you trust big tech billionaires with that kind of power? Amazon, Apple, and Google made sure Trump supporters had nowhere to turn. Apple and Google removed Parler, a rising social media platform from their app stores, and Amazon shut down Parler's website. Parler was banned for failing to moderate content, despite arrested rioters stating that they use Facebook and Twitter more than Parler. These acts of censorship include two things, a double standard and a lack of transparency. Big tech companies rarely have detailed rules to determine what content is not allowed. When they do have such rules, they are often unfairly enforced with conservative users suffering the most. Right now, social media platforms have liability protection under Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. Unlike newspapers, they cannot be sued for content posted to their platform. But if they continue to act like editors, they could see that protection ripped away. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and read the full article on our website. Thanks for watching.